In this video, I will explain the seven main methods I use to create white hairs and whiskers in colour pencil for pet and animal portraits. The first method is to use a hard white pencil. The humble white pencil is the most obvious method for creating white hairs and whiskers, but which one actually works? You may find that the soft waxy pencils blend more than they layer, so when you want a sharp white line, a much harder pencil pigment is needed. I have found that the best pencil for the job is the Caran Dash Pablo white pencil, and here is how to use it. The first step is to make sure your pencil is as sharp as possible, and with moderate pressure, draw on the fine white hairs and whiskers. Because the pencil is so hard and so sharp, it basically digs into the layers of colour pencil you already have laid down on your paper, leaving a bright enough mark. My tip for you is to keep sharpening your point after every few hairs, so the mark is as bright as possible. The second method is to draw over indented lines. Using an embossing tool to create white hairs and whiskers seems to be the most common technique I have seen other artists use on any animal. You can buy a set of various sizes to create different thicknesses of indents on your paper. Here's how to use them. So, if you want to create bright white lines, especially for whiskers, then use on clean, fresh paper before adding any colour. This method doesn't work if you're using a solvent for blending, since the liquid will fill in the gaps and indentations. Apply your layers of colour over the top as normal, and you will see that the embossed areas will be left out, leaving a white gap. The third method is to scrape off layers of pencil using the slice tool. The slice tool has been revolutionary to artists for creating flyaway hairs and whiskers. I find this much easier to use rather than a craft knife because the ceramic blade is gentler on the smooth paper. Use the slice tool to gently scrape off layers of pencil where you wish the whiskers and flyaway hairs to be. Then use a soft brush to brush away the bits of scraped off pencil. I would then use a white pencil over the top of the areas you have just scraped off to soften the harsh lines the slice tool has created. Practice this method before using on your artwork. Similar to the slice tool method, you can use a battery operated eraser to create gaps for whiskers. Unlike other erasers, the Tihu has a very small and narrow end which means it is perfect for creating those big white whiskers you've been dreaming of. First you need to create a finer point on the eraser by sharpening it on sandpaper at a 45 degree angle. Using a smooth back and forth motion, you can gently erase through most of your layers of pencil revealing neat white lines. I have found this to be the perfect method for creating thick white whiskers and highlights in the eyes. Another method is using a brush pen like the Faber-Castell Pit Pen. This is light fast which means the colour will not fade or yellow over time which is perfect to use in conjunction with your high quality colour pencils for commissions and original artworks for sale. Here's how to use it. You can use this pen to draw on fine hairs and whiskers in a smooth and light motion in the direction of hair growth. The pen will initially appear light or slightly translucent, but it will become more vibrant and lighter once dry. This method involves using designer's gouache paint and a very fine brush. Unfortunately, using white paint over the top of colour pencil isn't archival because the paint may flake off over time, but if you are creating cards or prints of your artwork, then this is the perfect method for getting that vibrant white that you need. 
first add a touch of paint on your finest brush, then gently apply the paint in a smooth motion. You can use your wrist to lean on and rotate from to create a smooth and consistent line. This method is best for creating thick and prominent whiskers. Once the paint is completely dry, you can use colour pencil over the top to slightly blend and feather the ends into the fur. This gives a more realistic effect of white hair growing out of the fur. The final method is using a gel pen to draw on whiskers like the designer gouache method. Again this method is not archival because the gel pen ink can flake off over time. But using a gel pen instead of the white paint means you have more control during the application and it's less messy. Use the gel pen in a smooth motion and move slowly so the mark is consistent. If you do make a mistake, you may be able to carefully scratch it off once it's completely dry and start again. I would then use a colour pencil to feather and blend in the end to make it more realistic. Don't be afraid to mix and match these methods to suit your drawing style. If you'd like to know more about these techniques, I've put a link down below. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching my tips video. For more help and advice, buy my book, How to Start an Art Business. See more videos down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and see you next time.